Hey traders, Jason from Lever Brothers. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss Wayne Whaley's toy barometer. Okay, first a little background. Many traders have tried to find correlations between how the market has acted early in the year and how it will act for the rest of the year. Uh, for example, some traders have looked at, say, the first five days of the year and said, however the first five days go, that, that's how the entire year will go. Others have backed it up and said, well, actually, it's the first 10 days of the year that actually are most predictive. And then some have said, actually, you know, however January goes, that's how the year will go. Um, others have said, how about, what about the correlation between how January and February go? Okay, so if they're both up independent of each other, then the market will do really well. What about each of January, February, and March? Okay, there's some correlation there between if those three months are up, the market's gonna do really well. What if we didn't demand that all three of these months be up? What if what if just we just needed the first quarter to be up? Okay, so you can have like two out of three up or one out of three up, and then that has predictive value. Um, but the problem is not the problem. Like all of these are worth something. They they actually there are actually are correlations between how the market does early in the year and how it does later in the year. The issue is all of these start with January 1st. Okay, but why should we restrict ourselves to January 1st? Like why not why not pick any data um, any single like date range? And that's what Whaley did. Whaley set out to find the single date range that had the greatest predictive value regardless of when it started or how long it lasted. Okay, it could be from January 7th to March 3rd. I mean, like who knows? Like he didn't want to restrict himself. He wanted to find what range early in the year or that crossed a year would have the most had the most predictive value going forward? And this is what he found. He found the period from November 19th to January 19th. He found that the the markets return during those two months, okay? So November 19th, two months later, January 19th, the return of those two months has the highest predictive value going forward. And what the market does doing during those two months tells us a lot about what is very likely to happen from January 19th looking forward 12 months, okay? Let's go through some stats. All right, so what he found, and he has, when he, he calculated the, the return during those two months from November 19th to January 19th, and he was able to group them into three categories. One of them gave him a bullish signal, one a neutral signal, and one a bearish signal. So his bullish signal, he called it his toy barometer because it, it toy stands for like turn of the year because it crossed the year and then you know the Christmas is at the end of the year so toy that's why I call it as toy brown so when the when that when that date range from November 19th to January 19th was greater than three percent which had ha which so far has happened 35 times in history the forward 12 month return uh, is very good okay you can see here that there are only two times it's happened it's happened 35 times in history and there are only two times where the forward 12 month return was negative otherwise the other three 33 times were all positive and the average uh, the average you can see right down here is 17.7 percent okay so again when the toy barometer came in greater than three percent it happened 35 times in history, 33 of the 35, the forward 12 month return was positive and the average was 17.7%. Okay, now if the toy, uh, if the toy barometer came in positive but less than 3%, okay, it had happened 19 times in history, the forward 12 month return was a little bit more mixed. Okay, this time only 12 of the 19 were positive and as you can see down here, uh, the average up, when it was up, the average was 14.4. The median up was 9.4, which tells me there were some big numbers in here and some small numbers. Um, and then when it was down, it was down a pretty decent amount too. The average was 8.5. Um, the median was almost 8. Okay, so a little bit more of a mixed picture here, Okay, especially when you look at the median here. Okay, only 12 of the 19 were up, and when it's up, it's up 
nine and a half. When it's down, it's down eight. So a little bit more of a mixed picture here. Um, and that's, so that's what happens when you get a when you get a neutral reading, positive but less than three percent. Then <clears throat> the other dates fall into the negative category. Okay, so the, when the toy barometer is less than zero, okay, so when it comes back, uh, so when November 19th and January 19th returns a negative value, your forward 12 month return is much more bearish. Okay, only six of the 16 were positive. And if we look down here, when it's up, okay, this, it, you know, it was up six times. When it was up, it was up 14.6%. When it was down, it was down 14.5%. So it leans bearish. When it's up, it still does pretty well, but when it's down, it's down pretty big. Okay. Now, obviously, the reason why I'm telling you here is because we, you know, today, um, at, as of Friday, the January, the November 19th to January 19th time period has concluded. Okay, so we could calculate the toy um, signal for this year, and what we got is we got this. The most recent signal is 6.7 percent, so it's a 36th time in 36th time in history that it has been greater than 3 percent. So you know, we have to wait a whole year. So the forward 12 month return, we're not going to find out what it is for an entire year. But if history repeats, again, 33 out of 35 times, we've gotten a positive return 12 month, the 12 month uh, forward return is positive, And the, you know, the average is 17.7%. To put that in perspective, if we get an average year going forward, the S&P based on its recent close is going to move up about 600 points, almost 600 points for over the next 12 months. And that'll put it somewhere up north of 3,900. Okay. Um, anything could happen, but it's another check in the bull's corner that Wayne Whaley's strongest indicator. Again, it's his strongest because he looked at every single date range throughout an entire year for any length of time. He looked at every single period that you can possibly look at to see what its predictive value was 12 months forward. And he found this date, date range from November 19th to, to January 19th to have the highest predictive value for the following, for the forward 12 months. Okay. So again, anything can happen, but it's another check in the bull's corner that, you know, this being his strongest indicator and it points to the next 12 months being very, very good. Um, and as I said, if it if we get an average return based on this indicator, the S&P is going up north of 3,900. All right. Thanks for listening. Um, I am going to put together a blog post with the images from this video. Um, the link will be below, maybe not immediately, but come back like a day or two, two later, and there'll be a link below to a blog post. So just in case you wanted to copy and paste those um, those screenshots, and then you'll have them for the future. You'll be able to take them. All right, again, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.